Hey fellas, it's uh, Zem from Strike Gaming again, and I'm bringing you a kind of a subscriber uh, slash. He's actually just joined Strike Gaming, um, and he uh, was curious. Uh, you know, when you're first starting on this game, you're going to be playing mostly the first tier five, tier four, first four tiers, uh, mostly uh, turn and burn, highly maneuverable aircraft, right? Uh, but it's when you start kind of branching out, you started getting into the heavy fighters, you started getting into the more the energy fighters, uh, you know, the American multi-roles, uh, the German actual fighter lines, uh, their multi-role fighters, uh, really lacked the maneuverability to, to deal with, like, say, the Japanese, uh, the British, you know, uh, and, and some of the Russians. They just don't have the maneuverability, so you can't play the turn and burn game. So how do you fight those kind of play, uh, planes with what you're going to be flying. Um, this is going to be a basic tutorial. I'm not explaining anything that's overcomplicated. Uh, I'm not going to get into, you know, um, really into the whole altitude uh, over, um, you know, the altitude energy states uh, that's involved because that's changed with 2.0 and it's still kind of in limbo uh, as far as I'm concerned because a lot of these uh, light fighters now can boost uh, at least up to the first 3,000, even 6,000 feet, almost as well as as the heavy fighters do. So there's kind of in a limbo with with some of this stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to give you some basic tactics to help you uh, play the heavy fighter, play the energy fighter, uh, playing against these very maneuverable aircraft. So I had to use a um, I had to use the uh, training room because I couldn't find a guinea pig. Go figure. Uh, so I'm going to be playing in the first video the Mosquito, and uh, which is a tier six uh, heavy plane. In the second one, I'll be playing the Foshwoof 190, uh, which is a tier six uh, German uh, fighter plane. Okay, so where I, I brought up the stats on these airplanes just to kind of give you an idea. Um, Yak 1M maneuverability is 1,083 maneuverability for the K88 839 and maneuverability for the P39 965. All maneuverable aircraft, right? They, they, there's no doubt about it. They turn well. Um, everything from the very high maneuverability down to just really good maneuverability. Uh, I'll be flying the Mosquito, which is, uh, as you see, 455. Um, ineffective in maneuvering combat. If that was such an understatement, I don't know what is. Uh, essentially, a flying brick with some wings and a few motors attached to it. Uh, but what does it have over these three uh, in a flight? Uh, one, obviously, survivability, larger HP pool, gun armament, almost all heavy fighters, and majority of the multi roles and the, um, at least the German side of it, they typically have uh, a better armament than, you know, they, have a, they, they mount more, more and larger cannons than the light fighters do. Uh, Airspeed, another big one. Always, they're always typically faster. Mosquito is faster, so is the Foshwolf. Um, altitude performance is usually better. Uh, in this case, the KI-88 is actually a, a kind of a an odd one because its altitude performance is almost as good as the is as good, if not better, than the uh, heavy fighter and the, um, the German fighter. But the other two, uh, no. So uh, in reality, maneuverability, yes, it, it does trump a lot of things, but if you're gonna use all of the abilities of these heavy fighters, uh, you know, you're, you're in good standings because you do, uh, on paper at least, outrate these other, uh, these other maneuverable aircraft. So that's Mosquito. This is the Foshwoof. Once again, maneuverably 572, uh, still cannot keep up with any three of these in a turn. Um, altitude, altitude performance, still a, bit, a little bit less than the P-39 and the K-88, uh, but it comes down to airspeed. It's still it's still faster, it still has better um, uh, cannons, and it still has better uh, HP. Uh, this is all stuff that you need to make this thing work against these fighters that have a very good turn rate. And you'll see in the battle, and also, like I said, I'll talk about it. Uh, in the battle as I'm doing it, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, and, and that's, uh, hopefully this is going to, like I said, basic understanding of how this works. Uh, you know, obviously once you pick this up, uh, what I'm saying, you know, you're obviously going to 
get better at it. Uh, you'll probably end up knowing more about it than I do. But I'm just kind of giving you guys a basic understanding of how this energy versus maneuverability works. So I'm going to bring up these uh, replays for you guys, and I hope you guys are listening. All right, back with the replay with the Mosquito. Um, heavy fighter. Uh, big brick, big wing, lots of ordnance, big cannons, lots of cannons. Uh, high boost. Uh, so get up to altitude, use that boost. Get it up there, get up the round, because, you know, with these heavy fighters, you can easily boost, you know, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 10, feet fairly easily uh, with the 20 second, 30 second boost that these guys have. Get up to altitude. Uh, even if you're losing the speed, it's not a big deal because you're going to be uh, eventually turning over and going down. The first part of this video is going to be uh, me engaging uh, enemy fighters that are engaged with other fighters, either uh, your own planes or um, in this instance, since I don't have any blue fighters other than this one dude that ducked into the training room while I was playing. Uh, they're going to be playing against these self-defense fighters. So, first target up here is the KI-88. Uh, I'm dropping down in here. He is actually, I'm looking for him. Uh, and it works best if you can get either a head on or getting him flying away from you. Uh, and right there at that point, which you just saw me do, uh, and this is hard for people that play uh, maneuverable aircraft. Uh, you get in that mindset that is okay, uh, he turned away, uh, I need to turn and get in on his tail and kill him. Energy fighters, heavy fighters, you can't do that. Uh, what you're going to see me do is I'm going to create what I, what I call the buffer zones. Uh, I made the pass on him and I need to make a buffer zone between me and him where I can turn around and come back at him. I'm using my HP and my large... Uh, forte of uh, armament, right? Uh, that's what I'm using here. I'm using the speed, I'm using the energy from my dive to create a buffer zone where I can turn around without being harassed uh, and them guys catching me. So, drop out of my dive, well over 400 miles an hour. Uh, he's not paying attention into me, which allows me to flip back over on the top here, gain some altitude, uh, and I'm once again back down on a shallow dive uh, at him. Try to get in, try to get another pass at him. Uh, he's coming around. Get a few more rounds into him. Uh, I didn't follow him up. If I follow him up, I lose airspeed. Right? I want to keep my airspeed up at all times. 350 plus, much as possible. Um, once again, create my buffer zone between him and them. Flip back over. He's busy, not paying attention to me. He's too busy trying to do kill that guy. Uh, and this is where you want to take that. Um, that the shot on him when they're not paying attention get a pass on him I'm losing airspeed flip back over uh, 5,000 feet uh, creating that buffer zone get my speed up look around see where he's at all right he's dead so I'm up above the yak one uh, I got good altitude on him he's busy not paying attention yeah come in put a couple nice rounds into him don't stay on him. Uh, create the buffer zone. Back up to speed. 390, 400 miles an hour. Get that distance between you and him. Flip back over. And, it, and you'll see, I've the only damage I've taken in this so far has been uh, flak and, uh, you know, uh, air defense fighters. I'm not really, you know, that that's... Uh, I'm just ignoring them. I'm just trying to get to the, the actual video here. Uh... He turned away from me, uh, which lets me get in on his tail. With all these forward firing cannons, it doesn't take long to, to, to uh, knock him out. Now, if he would have turned left or right uh, and attempted to uh, get in behind me, uh, once again, just nose over, pick up airspeed, get out ahead of him. All right, so that was with me picking on them as they're uh, playing with other, uh, other fighters. Now this part of the video I'm going to be playing, uh, I think I believe at one time I'm going to be taking on two of them at one time uh, in this heavy fighter versus two, uh, maybe even three if I don't remember, if I remember correctly, maneuverable fighters. Boost back up, get up about 8,000 feet, 
flip back over here. I'm, I'm looking for the red. I, and you're watching the video. I, you, most of the time you want to try to stay at altitude as much as you can possible with these aircraft. Unfortunately, these guys are all down low. Uh, they're picking on self-defense fighters, and I don't. I, I, I'm kind of forced to get I'm picking a fight, so I need to get down here. Uh, but typically, yeah, you want to be up 5,000 plus uh, pulling this kind of stuff that I'm doing here. Uh, so, But here I'm play, actually playing most of the time. So he's going to make a pass at me. Yep. Make a pass at him. I look at my speed, 429. Um, now they're going to now they're on me. They have no no self defense fighter to shoot at, so I'm in their main target. Keep my speed up. Thinner 90. Boost a little bit. Wait my boost bit build up. Coming to the edge, so I flip over. Got my buffer zone between the two of them. Look for your low health aircraft, which will be my P39 here and try to take him out. Miss him. Once again, no, no turn, no turn, do not turn, nose are over, start picking up speed, up to 400 miles an hour, they can't catch me, uh, they have no chance at all of catching me, and you can see the numbers, you know, 3,000 feet, 4,000 feet, I just keep going, I like to get about 3,500 feet out, roughly, now I'm going to try to gain some altitude here, boost back up, you know, see if I can get up to 2,000, 3,000 feet here, uh, before I make my turn, yeah, okay, 2,000 feet, I'm losing uh, airspeed, flip back over, here comes the P-39, um, he's going to come right at me, put another nice burst into him, the other guy flips up, I don't engage the second guy, uh, I don't want to lose airspeed, I'm using my airspeed to my advantage, these guys do not have the airspeed, they cannot catch me, uh, I'm just flipping back and forth, back and forth, um, you can do this all day until you kill both of them. I mean, and that, that's how it works. They they don't they can't use their maneuverability against you. Flip back over. K88 is coming in. Get him. Oh, not much of a damage into him, but I nail him. Um, yeah, he's turning, trying to catch me again. Speed, speed, more speed. Back up 380. Uh, he's now a little bit closer to me, but I'm still gonna just simply pull away from him. He just does not have the range. Uh, with with his guns or the speed to catch me so I'm just simply slowly but surely pulling away from him you know there's a 1300 feet 1400 feet yeah 1500 feet and I'm at this point there's there's no point in him even trying to shoot me uh, he's not gonna get he might get a couple of little dinks on me but that's it try to create my buffer zone again uh, 2,000 feet you know you look behind check out your uh, distance between the two of you uh, get that buffer zone extended out as far as you can 3,500 feet at least minimum uh, before you make your turn. Uh, 4,000, 5,000 feet would even be better. I'm kind of doing this in a hurry, trying to get this video done. <laughs> so yeah, all right, about 3,500. Yep, get a little bit of altitude. Flip back over, and he's already in my range. There's a heavy storm here. Put a couple shells into him. Make a quick little pass on him. Yep, keep my speed. 300 miles an hour. And once again, back down to the deck. Uh, using that speed. These guys, since they went up so high, they lost so much speed, I was able to stay out uh, relatively quick and I didn't have to pick up a whole lot of speed. You know, still up to 360. Uh, once again, creating my buffer zone uh, for me to turn, right? I mean, and that, that's the extent of it here. I'm trying to get the buffer zone so I can uh, extend out. Now these are bots, eventually they're just going to get tired of chasing me. Okay, he finally got tired of chasing me, turns around, he's going to go pick on something else. Human pilots, sometimes they do it, sometimes they're just real doggedly and they'll, they'll follow you to the ends of the earth to uh, try to kill you. My shooting is horrible in this video, I don't know why. These guys, two, both these guys should have been dead quite a while ago. Uh, extend my buffer zone out, um, see if I can get a little more altitude here. Uh, yep. There he is. Uh, 31, 3,000, and flip back over. Come in. There we go, finally. Finally, finally got him. Nail him. Yeah. Uh, those those pilots usually, they ch and if you're an enemy pilot doing this, never go head-to-head -head with a heavy fighter. You're going to get smashed. Uh, and uh, you'll see these bots a lot of times. Once they start getting uh, pummeled, though, they don't even really shoot. They just try to turn out of your way. Uh, and not engage you. All right, uh, no enemies relatively close. Start getting altitude again. I'm trying to get back up to five, six thousand feet, 
and let's see if I can find me another red pilot before uh, before the end of the battle here. Find the KI-88. K uh, not ideal conditions with him so far above me, but he's low health. All I need is a few rounds into him to finish him off. We'll be so, uh, bring up the Foshwolf game next, and okay, stick around. All right, fellas, back with the second video with the Foshwolf 190A5. Um, usually these guys, especially multi-rolls, uh, and these German fighters usually have a bigger boost than the life fighters. Uh, you know, let's say usually about five seconds more, maybe in ten seconds more in some cases. Uh, use that boost. Uh, altitude's your friend. Uh, energy's your friend. Get up as high as you can. Obviously, in the other one, I only had 25, 30 seconds of boost, so I can get up a lot higher than these fighters can. But you can still pretty, yeah, you can still get up there a ways. Uh, get up to about 7,000, 8,000 feet here, 7,000, I believe, and I'm looking for red pilots. Um, and what's nice about the German fighters or some of these energy fighters in general, uh, they're they're more maneuverable, obviously, than the heavy fighters. So you can be a little bit more uh, aggressive when it comes to some of your passes, because uh, you do have the ability to turn a little bit better than they do. Uh, like in the very first video here, I'm playing this as uh, enemy pilots uh, engaged with other targets, uh, and I'm just coming in and picking off. Uh, some baddies here as much as I can. He's giving me his tail. He's not trying to turn away from me, so I'm just going to stay on him uh, and take advantage of it. Uh, mostly because I'm also on a dive, which means I'm you know, already up to 400 miles an hour. Pull out. Create my buffer zone. They're far enough away. I can get in behind them. Or actually, I can get in uh, you know, some shots on them. Yak one. People's the same thing. He turns actually turns away from me which works out great for this fighter uh, as long as he's not trying to get behind me uh, and he's just he just wants to play out in front of me I can do that once again uh, creating that buffer zone diving down picking up speed uh, got my buffer zone created he's at 3800 feet from me flip back over now I'm looking for the yak 1m he's almost dead anyway uh, yeah he is dead uh, you know I'm this is just a tutorial I'm just kind of not even really paying attention to these self-defense fighters as little as possible. I'm trying to get into these uh, fights with these actual red enemy fighters. All right, uh, they're gone. Um, I'm gonna wait till they respawn. Here they come. Uh, once again, boost back up. Get your altitude back up again, 5,000 plus. Uh, you know, and start loitering until you can find out. I'm gonna go over here. I, th I think, believe, until I get over to the. Uh, uh, let's see if I can speed this up a little bit. Um, getting my speed back up again, up to 7,000 feet, and I find him over here at the uh, other objective. So now, uh, in that one, you know, I'm picking on fighters that were already engaged uh, and using some uh, energy tactics uh, of the zoom and boom coming in, putting a couple bursts into them. Uh, and, and I apologize, my <laughs> just some really shitty gunnery. So a lot of those planes should have been dead if I would have got a couple really good bursts into them instead of completely missing. All right, got my altitude. Um, looking around, looking around, see if I can find some red planes. There they are. Now, you know, in, the, in this one, I like I said that the, it's going to turn red, and I'm going to become their primary focus. So it's me against three highly maneuverable aircraft, and I'm going to be playing, you know, an energy fighter, not even full health. Try to put a burst into him. A little bit more burst into him. Uh, these guys are on my tail. Uh, actually, I believe most of the damage I took here is from uh, that self-defense fighter and the AA. Uh, those guys actually didn't even do a whole lot of damage. Creating my buffer zone between them. Pull back over. Low health first. Yeah. Put another bust into him. Burst into him. Nose over. Back. Gaining my speed back. I want my speed, I want my speed, I want that, that little bit of buffer between them so I can make a turn. Uh, that actually was that stupid self-defense fighter. There he is again, right on my tail. A little white triangle, uh, he turns away. Uh, those guys give up, they can't catch me, uh, so they once again they turn around and start uh, playing. Uh, they're trying to obviously capture the objective, so it's giving me a chance to make these nice passes on them. Ki-88 is coming in, uh, and I believe he's not even really paying attention. So I'm gonna make a couple passes at him here, quick. Uh, gain a little bit of altitude. I'm actually losing speed here. Uh, 
which is all right. Um, wow, wow. Can I not hit the broadside of a barn tonight? Um, but I have altitude on these guys. Uh, get my speed started getting back up to 200 miles an hour. Uh, and now I'm just simply picking uh, these guys. If they're flying away from me, great. Head on, even better yet. Uh, yeah, make them turn away. Uh, I don't continue the turn. Once again, keep her low. Uh, keep the boost a little bit up. Uh, get your airspeed back up. I'm up to 350. Uh, these guys aren't going to catch me. Create my buffer. Looking around behind me. Yep, there's the KI-88. Uh, he's busy again, so I'm going to take another pass on him. Down through. Face to face, yeah. Did a bunch of module damage there. Uh, 300 miles an hour. And in you know, this last part here, against these three fighters, I'm going to be playing at under 100 hit points. Uh, I'm just surviving on on energy and speed all right so now they got uh they've almost got this cap so it's going to be pretty soon it's going to be here it's going to be these three guys uh, trying to kill me actively trying to kill me uh, and uh, i'm just going to play straight up energy straight up speed uh, and here they come uh the yak 1m put a nice couple bursts into him nose down don't turn. Get low. Get the speed up. Get the speed up. Use my boost until I get my speed up to over 350 and just start pulling away from them. Yak 1M still after me. Um, pulling away from the rest of them. Uh, the other three are a little too high f to actually deal with. They're actually going back toward cap, which is fine. Uh, as long as they ignore me, the better. Uh, but the Yak 1M is still on my tail. I got my buffer between him and uh, between me and him. Flip over. Come in. Oh, I don't think maybe one shell hit out of that bunch. Doesn't matter. Uh, he's gonna try to flip over. He went high, lost his, uh, lost his um, speed. Uh, I kept my speed. Uh, now he's not interested. He's not gonna chase me anymore. So I'll take advantage of that. Create my buffer again. Flip back over, uh, and I'm just. Kind of dogging these guys, taking a pass at a time, taking a pass. It's obviously a lot easier when you actually hit something. For some reason, I just uh, I can't hit shit tonight. Um, Yak one, yep, there you go. I love that. He turned, he turned away from me uh, and gave me a nice uh, shot on his rear. So now that cap turned red. They have no more white guys to shoot. Yeah, I guess who's they're going to be chasing? Yeah, they're, they're, this guy, this guy. Here they come. So now I got three highly maneuverable aircraft after my. Uh, energy fighter with 100 hit points. Uh, oh yeah, let's see how this turns out. Okay, get my speed up. I'm going to try to start gaining a little bit more altitude. Uh, it's a little easier to deal with these guys. Uh, and earlier in the game I said, you know, hey, it's nice to get up around four or 5,000 feet to be doing this stuff. Uh, but since these guys are down here so low, uh, I was unfortunately I have to uh, play this at a little bit lower altitude than, I'm in, than I like. <coughs> get up to, uh, yeah, about 4,000 feet. Flip over. Low, uh, Low health uh, aircraft first. K88. Let's see if I can get a couple bursts into him. Nope. Another burst on him. Yep. Once again, nose over. Get the speed up. Get the speed up. Get the speed up. You know, they're going to pummel me a little bit. You know, they're going to give a couple shots on me. Uh, do a little, uh, little, 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 do a little dance. Um, keeping my speed up. Uh, and they're right behind me. Create the buffer. You know, I'm looking for that 3,500 feet, 4,000 feet uh, out ahead of them. Uh, once I get that, I got one about 2,500 feet. Uh, you know, and I like, you know, I showed this in the comparison how much faster these fighters are, these energy fighters, and the heavy fighters are over these uh, light fighters. Uh, and I'm just, that's what you got to do. Take advantage of that, of the strengths of the plane uh, versus what you're fighting. Pull back over. Got the Ki-88 coming in on me. And he pulls just a little, there you go. Get a nice round into him. He's trying to turn. He pulled up once again, lost airspeed. Uh, I don't uh, keep my airspeed up, keep my energy up. He's that, they lose interest. Uh, you know, and you, like I said, you, you'll get pilots like that. Human pilots that'll do that too. Um, now I'm just kind of being a cheeky fuck here. He's too busy, he's low health. Uh, I'm just looking for that uh, one one nice he shot on him. And, yep, got him. I'm proud of you, pilot. 
and yep, that's the end of the game. So uh, I hope you guys understand the basics of this. Uh, you know, and I'll probably have some more little more advanced stuff later on, maybe. But I'm just uh, trying to help out some of these players, new players that are trying to understand uh, the energy fighter, uh, heavy fighter role, uh, and how you can win against these guys. So hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, like and subscribe.